Hey, hello everybody, this is the Starving Martian, and today we are continuing our look at Mars Attacks Archives, the trading card set from 1994. I've said it <clears throat> before and I'll say it again, if you are a Mars Attacks fan, track this set down, you will enjoy it. Um, eBay is probably your best bet, but moving right along, this is card number 77 of the set. We've already looked at um, the original 55 cards, um, the reprints. We've looked at um, the unpublished 11, and we've also looked at the uh, Mars Attacks, the comics trading cards. Uh, these are all part of the archive set. If you missed any of that, well, the um, just click on my name, find the uh, playlist, and uh, they'll be right there. So, moving right along, these uh, the last cards, 77 through 99, are what they call New Visions. These are... Um, Bits of artwork by um, artists who were uh, popular at the time, and um, and each one features a image on the front and on the back. So we're going to be looking at both sides of the cards. This is card 77, uh, just a Washington D.C. shot with saucers hovering above, and on the back you get this really neat uh, picture here of um, one of the um, designs of the aliens. For the original card set before they were finalized, we're thinking they might be a little more insect-like. And so, um, they, but they still have the brain coming off the top of their head, so I think that's interesting. So that's card 77. This is, um, the next card, 78. Bit of a Martian bloodbath going on there. And then, on the back we have, um, some more, um... Pre-production of the original card set, looking a lot more like the aliens we actually got in the cards. This is uh, the next card in the set, and I I've never liked this guy's art for Mars Attacks. Uh, he's done some some good work. I'll I'll give him that. He's done some excellent um, covers for um, aliens and predators for Dark Horse, but I've never liked his Mars Attacks work. But there it is. And on the back we get um, a sketch of a card that was actually um, later made for the unpublished 11. So if you saw that uh, review, you would have seen that card. There's our next card here. And uh, yeah, Martians these days, um, they go down a lot easier than they did in, uh, in, in the 60s, I'll tell you that. On the back is another um, shot of a card that we saw in the um, unpublished 11. Here's another card that I'm not too fond of. That's just a weird Martian. It, it really is. Not only is he drinking blood for some reason, and he has the back of the card says he is, but he's also got these weird suction cup fingers. I don't know. I can't get into this one. But the back of the card... Now, I wish they had made this. Um... That's a great shot <laughs> of a giant spider. They, they went a completely different direction in the original card set, but that's a nice shot there. Okay, this card I do like. Just a happy little Martian sitting there with a skull and a glass ball, and I don't know why, and but it's cool. I like it. Here's um, New York being crumbled. And the production shots. This has happened to me, except it was a spider, and it was about the size of my thumb, but still, it, it, it was pretty huge, and, and, yeah. Anyway, not really thrilled about this card, because there's no real indication that it's a Mars Attacks card, it's just some Jenner with a big bug. Whatever. And, uh, this shot here, I believe, will eventually, we will eventually see in the uh, Mars Attacks Heritage, where they properly turn that into a card. Here's a giant Martian death machine of doom. And some more unproduced card on the back. Schematics for a Martian saucer, so go build your own. A rather uh, 
gory picture here. Again, this would be um, eventually uh, finished and done for the uh, Mars Attacks Heritage. We'll get to those when we get to those. Martian Wet T-Shirt Contest. Gotta love a Martian Wet T-Shirt Contest. Seriously, you have to. They, they kill you if you don't. And I love this Martian here. This giant head. Alright. Here's a burning baby carriage. Not something you see every day. And I like the Martian design here. This huge uh, tank on the back and like gears on his shoulders and everything. I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a nice update. And here's some kind of airplane submarine thing that didn't make the final cut. Here's a nice shot. A giant Martian head flying at you. And some giant robots that didn't get used. A very creepy Martian concentration camp. The Martian is holding some kind of baby doll head. Again, this is one I'm not particularly fond of because I don't like the Martian. He looks too dead. I mean, I know they're supposed to have skull eyes, but this guy just has hollow sockets. Um, I don't know. It doesn't work for me. Some more unused robot designs. Here's a nice one. Soldier versus Martian versus giant bug. Some more artwork from back in the day. Man, it's Martians at church. Martians worship the darndest things. Here's an early sketch of um, what Martians could have looked like with a big center eye. That um, was one of the original ideas. You'll see that they did carry the idea forward. Some of these aliens here. These Martians have that eyeball on a stalk. It would eventually become the Pax in the Topps comics. Alright, uh, JFK was president when the original Mars Attacks cards came out. So, uh, if they attacked the White House and landed and went, you know, for the White House tour, this could have happened. I'm sure he'd much rather have been visited by Marilyn Monroe, but who won it? And another early Martian sketch. Alright, Martians versus uh, Hannah Dundee from um, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. I, I don't know why or how. But it's cool. It's a thing. I like it. I do like it. And here's people writing and screaming from a UFO with death rays. Which seems like a reasonable thing to do. Martian alligator people? I don't know why. I just wish that he'd find some pants. An early version of um, uh, Burning Flesh. The uh, Martian's body shape like reminds me of a cockroach. Here's a great card. Soul reeling Blasted to atoms, trying to get this one Martian, uh, saucers above him, innocent victims all over the place. Good deal. And go, go, gadget copter. Here's a triumphant looking Martian. I don't know what he's so happy about. The ant's doing all the hard work. The kid up there is losing his trading cards. Speaking of trading cards, here's the wrapper that the original trading cards came in. Oh, I hate this card. I, I just do not like the shape of this Martian's head. Um, I'm not even going to tell you what it looks like, especially if you hold it upside down. A bit of anatomy that we're not going to get into. I don't like this card. Whatever, here's... The box that the original Mars Attacks cards came in. I'm sure that's worth a pretty penny. 
And here's, uh, one of these things is not like the other. Bunch of skulls in a jar. Can you find the Martian? Yeah, you, you found him yet? That's him. That, that's him right there. Alright, um, Mars Attacks, if you don't know, was originally test marketed under the name Attack from Space. And so here's a box of Attack from Space cards. And last but not least, we have uh, Norm Saunders, Self-Portrait. That's the artist uh, most associated with the original 55 cards. He painted this picture of a Martian painting him. So there you have that. And the back of the card, you have um, a much different design here. And there's... Hard to make out, but that grainy black and white photo is the artist himself, Norm Saunders, with his family around uh, 1959, it says. And so there you have it. And that wraps up um, Mars Attacks Archives. So as I said, even though I pointed out a few cards here that I'm not 100% thrilled with, I'm glad I own the set. Um, some great artwork on these. So, um, that's it for Mars Attacks Archives. Now, the next card set that would, uh, be issued would be 1996's Mars Attacks, uh, widescreen cards based on the motion picture. Now, I've already done a three-part review on those. It was the, uh, first one I did, uh, before I decided on just going through them all chronologically. So, I'm not gonna redo that. Alright, so if you want to, um... Follow along, uh, again, find my find the playlist, click on my name, Starving Martian, and you'll find those. You'll see the um, trading cards for the um, 1996 Tim Burton movie. They're widescreen cards, they're long, um, and uh, they're, they're halfway decent. Um, I'm glad I own them, I do have some issues with them. Uh, click on that and find out. But, um, next time we'll be moving up to Mars Attacks heritage from 2012 until then guys this has been the starving martian we'll catch you all later keep watching the sky